Step into the intriguing world of a 1989 TV series that delivers a roller coaster of emotions funny, shocking, and even a bit sad. In this video, get ready for a ride through the unexpected as we unravel fascinating facts about the show. But before we dive in, have you ever found yourself inspired or impacted by it? Share your personal stories in the comments below and stay tuned because there's a lot more coming your way. Curious about the behind the scenes anecdotes or want to know some mind bending trivia? Keep watching, we've got you covered. Whether it's a memorable scare or a plot twist that stayed with you, we want to hear about your most treasured memories related to this series. Drop your stories and experiences in the comments, we're all ears. So, if you're up for a journey into the cryptic tales that have left a lasting impression on many, hit that play button and don't forget to tell us your own tales in the comments below. Your stories are the heartbeat of this community. And now, let the unraveling begin the show, a journey through the unexpected. Stay tuned for more and remember to share your thoughts. It's all about the stories and we want to hear yours. Tales from the Crypt, alongside iconic series like The Twilight Zone and Thriller, stands out as one of the finest spooky anthology shows in television history. It surpasses other similar shows like Tales from the Dark Side and Night Visions with its chilling narratives, often revolving around themes of revenge from beyond the grave or sinister murders. Drawing inspiration from William Gaines' classic comic books, each episode closely mirrors the style and substance of those legendary stories. The series is known for its host, the Crypt Keeper, whose skeletal appearance adds a touch of macabre humor while introducing each eerie tale. With recognizable Hollywood faces gracing the screen in various episodes, the show maintains a level of familiarity for viewers. Despite modest budgets, the production quality remains sufficient to immerse audiences in its stylized, often grisly narratives. What sets Tales from the Crypt apart is its blend of horror and dark comedy, making it a unique binge-worthy experience. Its early 90s episodes feature a plethora of celebrities adding to its allure. Despite its often gruesome content, the show never takes itself too seriously, inviting viewers to revel in its twisted narratives without feeling overwhelmed. A notable aspect for trivia enthusiasts is the involvement of John Kasser, the voice behind the Crypt Keeper, who occasionally appears in supporting roles within episodes. His distinctive voice adds to the show's charm, further enhancing its appeal to fans. In summary, Tales from the Crypt remains a standout among dark comedies, offering a memorable blend of horror, humor, and celebrity cameos that make it a must-watch for fans of the genre. Charles Flesher, known for voicing Roger Rabbit in a popular film, was considered for providing the voice of the Crypt Keeper. In December 2011, a tragic event occurred, leading to the hospitalization of someone close to actress Demi Moore, leaving her deeply affected. Among the individuals present during the incident was Annie Stark, daughter of actress Glenn Close. Interestingly, his parents starred in the most successful films of 1954, with Rosemary Clooney appearing in White Christmas and Jose Furr in The Cane Mutiny a year before he was born. Tales from the Crypt first aired in 1989. It gained attention for its unique blend of horror, suspense, and dark humor. One interesting fact about the show is that the character Master Thespian from Saturday Night Live was inspired by a professor the creator had at the University of California, Irvine. Another noteworthy detail is the homage paid to EC Comics artist Jack Kamen in the episode and all through the house, where a police officer refers to a character as Mrs. Kamen. The series featured twisted tales often ending with a macabre twist, keeping audiences on the edge of their seats. Despite its dark themes, the show garnered a dedicated fan base and left a lasting impact on the horror genre. Tales from the Crypt remains a cult classic in television history, showcasing the darker side of storytelling. Tales from the Crypt, known for its macabre stories, was released in seven DVD volumes by HBO Home Video in the US and Canada. There's a discrepancy about Kirk's father Herschel Danilovich's birth year, with some sources stating 188 or 78, and Kirk's autobiography suggesting around 188 or 84. In 1991, Fox aired a pilot for Two-Fisted Tales, meant to be a spin-off series, based on the 1950s EC Comics. The pilot didn't make it to series, but its episodes, Yellow, Showdown, and King of the Road, found a home on HBO with added Crypt Keeper segments. In February 2007, George Went co-starred in the play Twelve Angry Men in Dallas. Tales from the Crypt's eldest child, Miguel Ferrer, was born to Jose Ferrer and Rosemary Clooney, followed by four siblings. 
He and his wife Ann Douglas celebrated their 50th anniversary by renewing their vows in California with a ceremony attended by 300 guests, including Dan Aykroyd, Lauren Bacall, Nancy Reagan, and Tony Curtis. The event took place at the Greystone Estate in Beverly Hills, featuring a traditional Jewish ceremony and a song composed by Tales from the Crypt for the occasion titled Please Stay in Love with Me. In 1989, a TV series called Tales from the Crypt started, featuring a person who was once a part owner of the Planet Hollywood restaurant chain. The show was known for its interesting stories that kept viewers hooked. Apart from their role in Tales from the Crypt, there were talks about them reprising their role as Detective Vukovic in Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines. The idea was that their characters survived the original events but ended up in a wheelchair. However, this idea was eventually dropped. In 2002, they received the Medal of Honor from the University of California, Los Angeles for their work in theater, film, and television. This prestigious award was given to them during the graduation ceremony for students in these fields. Previous recipients include former US Presidents Jimmy Carter and Bill Clinton, former Israeli Prime Minister Shimon Peers, and acclaimed actors Lawrence Olivier and Carol Burnett. These facts show different parts of their career, from owning a restaurant chain to the possibility of returning in a big movie and the honor they received for their work in entertainment. Tales from the Crypt is just one chapter in their diverse journey. Tales from the Crypt, a 1989 TV series, featured various notable personalities. One such instance includes a gown designed by Nolan Miller worn by the actress the night she won an Oscar for Ghost in 1990. In his last book, Let's face it, 90 years of living, loving, and learning, the actor expressed regret at turning down William Holden's Oscar-winning role in Stalag 17, Stephen Boyd's role in The Fall of the Roman Empire, and Lee Marvin's Oscar-winning role in Cat Ballou. Michael J. Fox accompanied her to the 1986 Academy Awards when she was nominated for The Color Purple. These incidents highlight the diverse connections and experiences associated with the series. Tales from the Crypt a TV series from 1989 is famous for its scary stories and memorable characters. One actor who stood out on the show is Kirk Douglas. He not only appeared in Tales from the Crypt, but also played the same character, Frank Black, in The X-Files and Millennium. Douglas lived in Palm Springs, California for a long time, over 40 years to be exact. In October 2005, the city honored him by naming a road after him. This road, called Kirk Douglas Way, goes around part of Palm Springs International Airport. The city celebrated this honor with a big ceremony attended by Douglas, his wife Anne, and their three surviving sons. Douglas also had roles in DC Comics-related productions. He played characters like the Riddler on Batman, the animated series Dr. Jason Woodrow in Batman and Robin, Lionel Luther on Smallville, and Savannah's father in Shazam. His varied acting career made a lasting impression on both TV and movies.